check out the new BYD mode on on the bar. So we have our device factory reset, and you can see I've got to connect to the internet. It's got a serial number. I can press the reset button, so it shows me the IP address and temperature information, etc. So if I had a neat pad, obviously I could follow the instructions on a neat pad and set it up as I usually would, or I can now connect a uh, USB C to a computer. Here's my USB cable. Let's pop that into my laptop I have here. And you can see in the bottom left here we have some toast. Neat bar detected. Go to setup.neat.no to connect. So I can click on this toast and we get a pop-up. So our web setup is get started. We can see we've got Ethernet. Uh, I can connect this to Wi-Fi if I wanted to. Hostname. I can come in here and give it a custom hostname. Any certificates, proxy, NTP if I need to change that, I can. I click on continue. And now I can register to Neat Pulse. So this is obviously advisable that you get it into Pulse and it is done out of box because you can't do it afterwards. So once you've got your Pulse sign-up code, we can put that in. I've created a room and I click continue. So now this is adding the room to Pulse. And by doing that means I've got full control of framing settings, etc. So I can now choose that and change the defaults through Pulse. Again, CC control, all that can be done through Pulse because this out of box screen is gone once um, you've done the initial setup it then disappears so you don't get the option again unless you factory reset so I can see the device is in pulse let's finish this settings here there we go the device is ready and in pulse and we're all set so now you can close this window go to pulse so again select your time zone language all that is then carried out in pulse and that is it we are done so now the other box is completed I can now see that I've got my screen to connect so I can simply get my HDMI cable now pop that in as well and now you can see whatever's on my laptop is shown on there so now let's get rid of the pop-up window and for example we can now start a Teams call so when I go to let's do a meet now I start my meeting so we get this pre-joined screen on our laptop and what we want to do is actually drop down room and you can see connected devices neat bar so I select neat bar so this is now going to use the BYD mode within the Teams Pro Portal for example so what's happening now is I'm utilizing my local display on my laptop to show all my chat and messages etc but on the front of room display with the connected neat bar for example I see the camera and that's it but if I open up the uh, chat pane, for example, on my local device, again, you can view chat on there if you wish. Um, so you can't obviously send or receive, but you can see raised hands, etc. Uh, see all those notifications. If I open up the people pane, and again, if I do something like Copilot, and I turn on Copilot for the meeting, so I can see the roster list, who's in the room, and I can also see transcriptions. So whatever I'm talking about is now coming through on the display. So when I go to more, record and transcribe, I can show the transcript as well. So this is now showing in the meeting space on here that everything is on here. And it also showing Graham Walsh started identifying people. So it's actually picking up my voice now as well. So being able to see everything and know who said what in the meeting, that's now available on BYOD devices as well. However, as you notice at the top here, it's actually only for scheduled meetings. On there. So these are all the cool AI features as part of Teams Premium and Microsoft Copilot that you can utilize in BYD rooms. Thanks for watching.